One of the coolest things about Cuphage in DaVinci Resolve is that everything is rippled, leaving no gaps in the timeline. However, this really only works for track 1. Track 2 and beyond, uh, it's a slightly different story. So let's go ahead and have a look at how this is manifested on the cut page. When we have a single track like this, you will notice rippling when you start adjusting the duration of the video clip. Either lengthening it or shortening it, all the other clips will move accordingly in order to accommodate the new changes. Now you will also notice rippling when you uh, remove video clips from the timeline. So in this example, as you see that when we start removing video clips, all the other video clips are moving uh, to the left in order to make sure that we don't have any gaps left in the timeline. Now another case where you will notice rippling is when you overwrite an existing video clip in the timeline. So in this example here, we're going to bring in a new video clip uh, from, the, uh, from the media pool. And we're going to have this new uh, clip overwrite an existing clip in the timeline. And notice the clip that's next to it. It will move accordingly to accommodate uh, the new duration of this video clip. And if this video clip is much longer, uh, once again, the other clip that's next to it will move as well. So as you noticed, everything on a single track is automatically rippled on the cut page. With that said, when we have multiple tracks, things are a little bit different. In this example, we have track two and track three. You will notice that when we adjust the duration or when we try to remove the video clip, nothing else is rippled. Everything else stays in place. And when we try to override a clip, once again, it will just automatically override the clip rather than ripple overriding the existing clip. So rippling is not turned on for track two and beyond. And with the addition of extra tracks on the cut page, the behavior of rippling will also change a little bit. And we're going to see some of those examples right now. Now, when we have multiple tracks on the cut page and we have a scenario like this where we have a clip that's underneath another clip that's much longer. And when we remove this clip, you will notice that we actually have a gap. And now to further remove this gap, we'll just have to click on this grayed out area and then hit delete. This will now perform a ripple delete. Another scenario is when we have a clip that's underneath another clip and this clip actually extends a little bit beyond the clip that's above it. Now when we hit delete, what you will notice is that only the part that extends that reaches beyond the clip that's above it got ripple deleted. And this kind of makes sense because at the end of the day, it's just trying to make sure that no gaps are left in the timeline. Now, another scenario is when we bring the out point of a video clip uh, beyond the in point of a clip that's above it, you will notice that the clip that's above will automatically get removed. Uh, so now let's go ahead and then look at the, a similar example when we bring the out point beyond the in point. Once again, the clip that's above it will get removed. So these are just some interesting behaviors that you will notice when you have multiple tracks on the cut page. They're not necessarily good or bad. It's just something for us to be mindful of. Okay, lastly, let's look at how things are different on the edit page. First, when we bring the out point beyond the in point of a clip that's above it, the clip that's above it is not automatically removed. Also, when we ripple delete a clip that's underneath another, the gap will also be automatically bridged. Another scenario is when we have a clip that's underneath another and this clip is much longer. When we ripple delete, once again, everything will get moved over to the left to make sure that we don't have any gap. Now, when we have multiple tracks like this, uh, rippling will also work on track two and beyond. When we adjust the duration or when we try to remove a clips, uh, rippling works on all the tracks that you have in the timeline. So, I hope this helps guys and I will see you next time.